Christchurch Cascades kids. How the Pudus are missing seeing all of you guys. Today, we are going to jump a bit forward in the true story about David in the Bible. Can you remember what Tania Quiver taught us about last week? It was about how David waited patiently for God's timing, even though he had two chances to kill Saul, once in the cave and once in the camp. But instead, he trusted God to make him king at the right time. And now the time had come. Saul and his family had died in battle. So all the tribes of Israel came to David and anointed him king over Israel. They said to him, the Lord said to you, you will be Israel's ruler and look after them like a shepherd. David was 30 years old when he became king and he reigned for 40 years. Well, I asked some of your parents to send me photos of houses or shelters that you had built. Luca started with an airy, colourful, spacious house. What do you think? Matteo built a Lego house, a bit like a castle, with knights and a dragon to protect it. Abby and Vihan built a fun block house out of Duplo. Timmy, Arthur, Ethan and their dads made an impressive shelter out of bamboo. Aya and Ginny's house even has a paddock for their horses. Michaela and Ben are having a tea party in their lacquer shelter. Caleb's house has some fun towers and extensions. Libby and Rebecca use magnetic tiles for their house. Caleb, Izzy and Danica made cardboard houses and other creations. Christian is making one out of wood. And she has a Lego one from Ethan and a solid wooden one from Luca. I think my favourite is Abby's house, which has lots of rooms and furniture. Well done, Abby. The Brisker boys and Ethan were a close second. Whose house do you think is the coolest, or the best built, or the most original? Today's true story from the Bible is about a building that David wanted to build for God and about something that God said he would build for David instead. Who of you can remember how, from the time of Moses, the Israelites had carried the Ark of the Covenant with them as they traveled through the desert? This was a beautiful box, and it represented that God's presence was with them. When they were camped, it stayed in a special tent called the tab Tabernacle. Now the Israelites were settled in the Promised Land, they were no longer fighting battles as God had given them peace from their enemies and, their, and a rest from war. The people were all living in houses and David was living in his palace. David decided because of all that God had done for them, he would like to build God a temple so that God's ark did not have to stay in a tent. But God told David through his prophet Nathan, that David should not build a temple. God said that he hadn't been in a house from when he brought the Israelites out of Egypt until now, and that he didn't want David to build him one. He told that him that instead of David doing something for him, God promised to do something wonderful for David. God would make David's name great. God himself was going to set up a house for David and one of David's family would later rule a kingdom that would last forever. God would never take his love away from this king as he had done with Saul. David's house and kingdom and throne would endure forever. God said to David, I will be his father and he will be my son. Can you think who God
God was talking about? Who is the king from David's family who is going to reign forever? Yes, it's Jesus. We've been learning about Jesus reigning on the throne as we learn from the revelation of John. David could only praise and thank God for all God had promised to him, even though he knew he didn't deserve. He said, How great you are, O sovereign Lord. There is none like you, and there is no other God like you. God kept this promise to David and Jesus, who came from David's family many, many years later. And Jesus did not stay in the grave but he rose to be God's kingdom who will rule forever. David knew God would keep his promise to him. We also know that God will keep all his promises to us. If we say we are sorry for our sins and say that Jesus is the king of our lives, then we can trust that we will be saved from the punishment we deserve and live forever with him in his kingdom. So what house did God build through Jesus that will last forever? This is what the New Testament says in Paul's letter to the people of the early church in Corinth. We are the temple of the living God. God's spirit lives in us, not in a box or in a tent or in a beautiful temple or in a church building. So what does the house that God promised David he would build from his line look like? Take a look at these photos. Can you see the house of God and where God's spirit lives? Yes, in all of us who believe in him. All of us are the temple where the spirit of God lives. Remember the pictures of the houses and shelters that you we saw at the beginning of the lesson that you guys had built for me. Maybe you didn't know you were looking at photos of the house or temple of God, but you were. You guys are God's temple. 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that the Spirit of God lives in you? Last week in Revelation, we read that God will make those of us who follow him pillars in the temple of God. The people who are part of God's church are the house that God promised to build through David's descendant, Jesus. David trusted God's promise to him and God did make his name great. And Jesus came from his family we too can trust God's promises to us. Listen in the service to the reading from Revelation, where Jesus promises to let those who repent and love him sit with him on his throne. We know we will reign with him one day and that we will live forever. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that for all your promises to us. Thank you that you are a faithful God who has always kept his promises from Abraham to Moses, to David, to us today. Thank you that even though this year has been a hard one, we can trust in a wonderful future with you because you always keep your promises. Help us to be like David and praise and thank you for all that you have given and promised to us. Amen. See you guys sometime soon, we hope. Bye.